This is Calendar of Events. Vicki Carr in concert is a benefit for the Girls Club, Monday night at 8 p.m. at the Orpheum, with proceeds going to the South Omaha Girls Club. A small business conference for women will be held at College of St. Mary on May 9th and 10th, entitled Mind Your Own Business. The conference provides 18 speakers, two lunches, three coffee breaks, and a conference kit full of information, all for $25. Call either the College of St. Mary or the Small Business Administration for information. A May Day festival with demonstrations, plant shop, baked goods, and a noon lunch will be May 1st from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. at Rockbrook United Methodist Church, 9855 West Center Road. Lori James from Boston will give a one-woman portrayal of Margaret Fuller in Steel Beat Noble Hearts on May 4th at 8 p.m. at First Unitarian Church, 31st in Harney. Tickets in advance to $53 at the door. Reservations may be made by calling the church. The deadline for registering to vote is 6 p.m. May 2nd. There are many points throughout the city where you can register and permanent sites at Westroads and the Hall of Justice downtown. A musical evening of The People's Choice will be presented by the Nebraska Choral Arts Society on May 3rd at 8 p.m. in the UNO Performing Arts Center Auditorium. Everything from PDQ Bach to American Folk Songs will be on the agenda. Tickets at the door or by calling 558-2330. The second annual duo piano concert performed by pianists from the College of Fine Arts Music Department of UNO will be given Wednesday, April 30th at 8 p.m. in the recital hall. Westside High School has positions open for swimming instructors and lifeguards with current certificates and advanced life-saving. Call the school for information. The third session in the Family Life Education Series will be held Tuesday night from 7 to 8.30 at Wesley House Center. This has been Calendar of Events, a public service feature of WOWT. WOWT Channel 6 in Omaha. We wish to thank you for viewing WOWT today. We welcome your comments, suggestions, and criticisms about our programming. Your opinions are important to us as we strive to bring you the programs you want. If you wish to comment, write to Program Director, WOWT, Channel 6, 3501 Farnham, Omaha, Nebraska. This seal of good practice identifies WOWT as a subscriber in good standing to the television code of the National Association of Broadcasters. It signifies Channel 6's pledge to present programs and advertising in accordance with the code's recommended standards of good taste. It means, too, that WOWT recognizes the need for particular care in the presentation of children's programming and that a regular schedule of religious programs is a part of our responsibility to the community. Accurate, unbiased news reporting at convenient viewing hours is another community service of WOWT. So for entertainment, education, and information, all in accordance with the standards of the television code of the National Association of Broadcasters, always dial WOWT Channel 6. Well, this wraps up the broadcast day of television station WOWT in Omaha. WOWT is owned and operated by the Chronicle Broadcasting Company with studios at 3501 Farnham in Omaha and transmitter at 72nd and Crown Point. 
WWT operates on Channel 6, and we now end the 116th day of our 31st year of telecasting. <laughs>